TLO was pop 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 Ben TLO was pop We are on Twitch we are live but by the time you see this we won't be so just leave a like comment subscribe turn on your post notification bells now let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK and all around the world because this is <clears throat> this video is Germany Germany really got some stuff going on man I, I heard one of y'all rappers before and it was all type of firearms all type of class A narcotics in the video I got age restricted um, it was a crazy video anyway man right behind me this is the channel where you could uh, catch any highlights from the live if you miss it or you can just go to Twitch, type my name in, and watch the whole live over again. Uh, don't forget, we do got merch. You get me. And we got the Patreon. Also, uh, Monday through Friday, we post on there. This is Cocaine for Germany. It's a little booger sugar, huh? Okay, let's get into it. This warning goes for me as well, YouTube. Warning. The following film contains scenes related to addiction and use of illegal drugs. Hold on now, where's the volume? Cocaine is sweeping through Germany like never before. Getting cocaine in Berlin is as easy as buying cigarettes. Available when a million getting cocaine in Berlin is as easy as try to see if we can see the card number, you know, I'm not, I'm not buying cigarettes available whenever, wherever and with enormous profits. Buying high quality makes you a minimum 100 percent profit per capsule. Facts. Cocaine is an integral part Allegedly. of Germany's party scene. It keeps you awake and puts you in a good mood. International drug gangs run a perfectly organized smuggling network. The swallowing system is very risky because when they bust in your stomach, you can die. Never before have the drug cartels seemed so powerful. Show your hands. We can't control this huge flood of cocaine through checks. Germany is on cocaine. What can yeah. stop the drug crisis? Through the night, cocaine is the stuff of this breathless big city. <laughs> Getting it seems easier than ever. Demand is growing and growing. It's a classic. In this film, we follow the journey of cocaine from cultivation in South America, the smuggling route via Africa and Spain, to the dealers and consumers in Berlin. We want to know how the business works, what authorities are doing about the boom, and who is profiting. But why is cocaine so celebrated in Germany? These are heydays for cocaine dealers like these two. We're calling them Jonas and Max. They've been dealing for over six years and can see how the business is changing. For over six years and can see how the business is changing. You've been dealing for six years and his pants fit like this? That's tough. Jonas, that's different. You gotta get some fitted pants or something. This ain't it. Continue. Früher musstest du ja auf der Straße sein. Du musstest dahinter stehen. Jetzt kannst du online handeln. Du brauchst. Nowadays you can deal online. You don't have to be strong or anything anymore. Darknet or Telegram make it easier. And as a result, many people have recognized the gap in the market and have simply joined in. Cocaine is not stuck in the shadows. In the upper classes, no one can manage without it. The lawyers can't. Judges can't. Policemen, officials, we've seen it all. Everybody uses. Cocaine has become the coffee of America. Y'all think he's lying, but he is telling the truth. I've seen, like, I've been around some people that do, like, in Chicago, and I've seen police officers, I've seen dentists, I've seen a dentist at work hit a rail something crazy. 
and go get in somebody's mouth and pull a tooth out. I was like, you're moving wild. <laughs> I seen an emergency room doctor. I didn't seen it all. It's Erica, crazy. And it's now the coffee of the world. The coffee from the guns with Cocaine can boost mood and performance. And it's no longer just a party drug. Many also do cocaine during the day when work or private problems become too great. When I started using cocaine, it still had a positive effect, so I felt good. Many people get a- Oh yeah, don't forget the housewives. <laughs> That'd be your number ones right there. A great euphoric feeling and feel very alive. They hate their husbands. And very strong. Cocaine is a drug that makes you feel a lot. Marie was addicted to cocaine for several years and has only been clean for a few months. Good for her. She works as a lobbyist and advises politicians, among others. It's a stressful job. At first, she only did cocaine at parties, but later she began taking the drug to be more efficient at work. Over time, she lost control. At one point, I needed three needles a day. On average, I spent 100 to 150 daily. I said three needles? What do you mean by that? What you doing with it? I must have shot up 20 or 30 she times a day, at least five or six right. times oh, out. Oh, yeah, she was moving bad. She was going crazy. Work, and then probably another 10 to 15. She wanted it directly in her stream. Teen times in the evening. Ultimately, you don't even notice it anymore because it's like eating chips in front of the TV. I beg to differ. No, no, it is not. Cocaine users come from all social classes. Dealing is illegal, but those who want to get high in Germany have few problems finding it. Whether in the club, on the street, in cab rides home, or in the bar, especially in big cities, it's almost ubiquitous. It's becoming increasingly difficult for investigators to monitor trafficking. Olaf Schrem is head of the Berlin Drug Squad and sees this as a major problem for Germany. With this Europe-wide cocaine desire, we've noticed in Germany and Berlin especially that we have more criminal investigations against people who have it in their possession, and in particular against those who deal. Und insbesondere auch die mit Kokain handeln. Several kilos were seized during a raid. The substance goes to the laboratory to determine the degree purity. of purity. By 80. Here we have the first results for cocaine. As a rule, anything with more than 80% is highly pure cocaine. That's standard. Yes, standard. This means that the product isn't becoming diluted along the distribution chain. <laughs> Real plug talk. Not at all. They've perfected the manufacturing. There's an unlimited supply and also no change in the market price. We have fairly constant prices for cocaine on the black market and we also have a constant level of ingredients we are checking in samples we've seized. This means that the market continues to function unchanged, although in some cases many tons are being withdrawn from circulation. Does it matter? You said many tons are being withdrawn from circulation. Those are what they want you to catch up. That's, that's nothing. Imagine how much is going through. If you're catching some tons, Imagine what you're not catching. Come on now. Ever more, ever purer, the cocaine supply seems to never tire. The port of Hamburg is considered a major gateway in Germany. Here, customs authorities intercept growing quantities of cocaine, a sign of how much of- They letting y'all catch that. Yeah, give them this. So they'll relax a little bit. The substance is in circulation. These are the classic kilo packages of... 
Yo, can I ask you a question? What's the best advice you could give from a life experience you've had? From a life experience that I've had? The best advice that I can give you personally, because I'm still experiencing life myself, um, to be yourself. Don't try to live up to the standards of your friends. Don't try to live up to the standards of the internet. Don't try to live up to the standards of media, social media, or any of the above. Be exactly who you want to be, and you're going to get exactly where you need to be. Now, if you're trying to be something else that you're not, it's going to take way longer for you to achieve your greatness. So just be yourself. You're going to get there. Period. Cocaine from almost all captures. Well packed and odor proof. What a success. Customs seized over 16 tons of cocaine in the port of Hamburg. It's a successful and large find for Hamburg Customs. 16 tons of very pure cocaine from Paraguay, packed in tins of putty. Estimated market value, several billion euros. It was the largest find of cocaine in Europe. These are quantities that were unimaginable just a few years ago. Then we were dealing with 20, 50, 80 kilos. Hey, guess what they know y'all doing now? Y'all patting yourself on the back like, oh, we did it. We did it while they slipping through 97 tons. Or uh, <laughs> you can have that little 16. Yeah, it hurt a little bit, but you can keep it because we're going to backdoor this 90, 100, 100 billion, 100 million, 100, whatever. Today it's 16 tons. 100 tons. They take 16, we're going to get through 130. The amount of cocaine. It's a calculated risk they be taking. I promise. I, 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 there's no. I, the police ain't that smart. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna be real with you. They're not that smart. Cocaine seized in Germany is steadily increasing. Big buck with you. I'm keeping it real. But despite all the successful searches, cocaine seems omnipresent. And on the increase. Four and a half kilos are consumed every day in Berlin, Dang. as evidenced by residue in the wastewater. Dealers like Jonas and Max sell to consumers. Demand has risen continually since they've been in business. Every day? I didn't want to. I sorted out something for myself. Then more and more people came. Oh, you sorted yourself. That's 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 how people begin to get that my bad. That's how people get to trapping. You know? So can't you help me, they'd say? Then you do that and suddenly loads more people come. So many. And then you say, Fuck it. That's what happens in most cases. He's right. Normally not with a mask. Allegedly, I wouldn't know. My life. You slammed that car hard. Jonas and Max fill the cocaine capsules for the nightly delivery. They get about 100 euros per gram, depending on the quality. If you buy high quality, you don't have to be very profit-oriented to make 100% profit on a capsule. 100% of your purchase price is profit. You buy 50 euros a gram, sell it for the standard 100. 100% profit. Jonas and Max bring the product directly to their customers' homes. Nocturnal drug couriers, an illegal business and yet quite normal in the middle of the city's daily life. They're in, the, they're in the EU too, so like Europe, they're in Germany. Or are they in the EU? They're in Germany, so their pipeline is so much more direct. Like, think about it in the USA, coming from the Midwest too, like you're going, like it's getting cut one billion times before it gets to you. It's like 40%. You see how they caught theirs at 80? No. <laughs> it's going to be like 40, 50.
He too needed more and more Midwest. as time went on. Cocaine is expensive. In some cases, she was spending 2,000 euros a month. All her savings went on the drug. When I realized that with the amount I consume a day, I wouldn't be able to pay the rent next month, that's when I actually realized the extent of it. I would have to think of ways of how to get money quickly. And when it became clear to me that I was at the point that I would prostitute myself to get money for drug use, that was already quite... So that was already rock bottom for me. My very personal rock bottom. So I personally didn't know how I could save myself from that, what I had left of myself. Also, was ich auch von mir selber noch halten kann. Following three years on cocaine, Marie went into withdrawal. Her body reacted with strong, fever-like symptoms. She had to regularly cool down with cold water. She also had therapy to overcome the mental dependency as well. Marie wants to make it, but the road out of addiction is long. Hans-Peter Eckert provides psychological care to addicts during their withdrawal. The treatment plan includes regular sessions at a therapy center. Last week, a friend of mine was invited to a birthday and asked me if I would like to go. I did not know the birthday girl or other guests at the celebration. And you didn't realize that there were any situations or opportunities where something might happen? No, I didn't. And did it shake you? Did you leave as we practiced? Yes, we practiced that. When I realized what was happening, I sat there for about 10 minutes. And then I knew that I had to go. I told my friend and she... That's good, man. You removed yourself from that situation because you needed to, because it's real easy. Because they be, if you in a party, man, they slide around that plate like it's nothing. Reacted immediately and also left. Did you later regret your decision not to consume? No. And that was a first. Other times I did regret, but not this time. Cool. Cool. Cocaine is so schädlich, weil es. Cocaine is so harmful because it makes you, as the person affected, dependent, such that you can no longer complete tasks that are worthwhile to you because you want to consume all the time. In those times of consumption, most female patients withdraw socially to a large degree and are no longer reachable at all. Once you've become an addict, it's hard. Only about one third succeed in quitting permanently all the others relapse. The damage to people and society is enormous. From South America, cocaine travels all over the world. On its way to consumers, it can become increasingly impure and expensive. The product's route to Europe is either direct or via Africa. There, deliveries often change hands in West African states, mostly Guinea-Bissau or Nigeria. The substance is... See what I just said earlier? Y'all got that direct route coming through the pipeline, through the Midwest, behind my head, from, from South America up through Florida. You got to go through Florida, sometimes along the East Coast, then back down. You got to go through... This is... Terrible. Transported by container, on ships, is or by air, or inside the body of a smuggler. The starting price in Colombia is around 3,000 euros per kilo. In Germany, dealers charge more than 10 times that. Wow. The Kenyan city of Mombasa. With the largest port in East Africa, a new drug trafficking route has recently developed here. 
Heroin from Asia and cocaine from Latin America now often take this route to Europe. And for good reason. The Kenyan coast is long and poorly monitored. Low risk, high reward. We're on our way to a suburb of Mombasa, where African drug cartels operate. We meet a smuggler. We've called him Idris. He belongs Albert. to a Kenyan drug cartel and wishes to remain anonymous. This conversation is dangerous for everyone. It could cost him his life. There is a lot of risk. My family can be hijacked, kidnapping, they can be killed, and also my life can be in danger in many ways. For the past four years, Idris has been smuggling drugs to Europe and Asia, including cocaine, as a mule. To swallow you, they are, they are putting a silicone material. We are putting the salad oil, and then you swallow slowly by slowly. But you make sure you have not eaten any food which have acidic. And when you reach in the plane, you just drink water. When they give you food, you pretend to eat because if they see you are not eating frequently, they can suspect you and deliver you to the security. It is easy to get there. You see, after reaching the airport, before you go to the scanning machine, there is a person who is waiting there. You'll use the back doors. After going, you'll be taken by the vehicle or car to go to a hotel so that you can remove your stuff. The swallowing system is very risky. Because that sounds dangerous, man. All the pack might bust in your stomach, all type of stuff. Because when they bust in your stomach, you can die. But I do it because I need money to support my family. Out of necessity. The smuggled cocaine typically ends up in German clubs via dealers, getting party goers high. But the road here is long and extremely dangerous. Smugglers like Idris risk getting caught and going to jail every time they travel. But once you're in the system, escaping is near impossible. I regret why I, I entered to that system, because now I cannot get out. The dons can send somebody to come and kidnap your family or kill you, because they believe when you get out, you leak the information to the security agents. It is not moral correct, because I know I'm affecting a lot of youth and through my job. Sometimes I regret tears come from my eyes, but I, I cannot do anything. Yeah, you locked in for life now, buddy. I just live, only God will judge me. That's true. Go repent. Idris knows exactly which routes the large quantities of cocaine take from East Africa to Europe. To Europe, after reaching South Africa, it is transported to Nigeria. After Nigeria, it goes to Tunisia or Morocco. I feel like he's saying too much. <laughs> Y'all need to go check on him. He is saying way too much. There they transport using the fishing boat. And there is another route after reaching Tanzania or Kenya to southern Sudan, Khartoum. After Khartoum, it is transported through the desert using the camel until it reaches Tunisia or Morocco and then it crosses. That is the easiest route. La Línea de la Concepción in southern Spain. The city is considered the gateway for drug smuggling between Africa and Europe. In the 1970s, drug traffickers made the Strait of Gibraltar their European base. For 50 years, the trade here has been primarily in hashish, but now there's a new business, cocaine. Hashish. Is that hookah? The largest quantities arrive at the port of Algeciras. We have an appointment with Mike. 
He works for one of the largest narcotics cartels in Spain. We've reached him after a lot of research and through various contacts that have led us deeper and deeper into the fray. Mike organizes the logistics so that drugs can leave the port unnoticed before they're distributed all over Europe. His salary is 200,000 euros a month. Here he talks to the media for the... Hey, listen. <laughs> Mike, I ain't mad at you, man, but God, 200 a month? first time there's no need for you to be talking to the media rose a month here he talks to the media for the first time there's someone who makes sure that the container is not in the register and as soon as possible the goods leave the port in a truck then it's taken to a safe storage place I see to it that the goods come out of the port and are taken to a safe place. That's where the customers come and pick them up, usually taking them to the coast or to Europe. Every year, Sam. Thanks for the bit, Doris Laz Bursell. Appreciate the words too. Thousands of kilos of cocaine arrive at the port of Algeciras. Mike knows exactly how much, but he won't say. It's more than people think. I won't give you numbers, but it's more than people realize. Just like the bananas come in, or the oranges, or shoes, at the end of the day, it's a business like any other, and if there's demand, you have to be there to serve it. There are smaller independent gangs that transport cocaine by speedboat. That also works, but the most common and safer way is by container. Cartels use speedboats to transport more than 280 tons of drugs, including cocaine, every month on the 14 kilometer straight separating Spain and Morocco. Carlos Pose Suarez works for Spanish Customs. He's preparing for an operation, a night patrol to detect smugglers from Morocco on the Strait of Gibraltar. It's not uncommon for customs and police officers to chase down smugglers. Often they escape because they take greater risks and drive faster. Carlos and his colleagues are prepared for anything. Vamos con armas y a veces sí que se utiliza. We carry weapons and sometimes we do use them. It's not frequent, rather rare actually but they can be used. But it's clear that when they are used, it's only as a deterrent to stop them when they're making very dangerous maneuvers. It's an elaborate and expensive fight. In 2018, Spain launched a security plan to tackle illegal drug smuggling. In mid-2020, its budget was increased by 48.2 million euros. Although arrests have increased, the problem is still far from under control. Carlos's radar indicates movement. For safety reasons, we turn off the cabin lights. Hemos detectado en el radar un posible objetivo. We've detected a possible target on radar. It's very faint, but something is moving. We're preparing for anything. So it looks like it's moving pretty quick, too. Por si pudiera ser algún objetivo. Ahora podemos ver que tiene movimiento. There, here we can see that it's moving. We'll approach slowly and prepare in case it's a smuggler. Carlos and his team pick up speed, crossing the ocean at 100 kilometers per hour. 
Something is there, but okay. It has no light. Okay. We've lost it. It was a false alarm, but we have to check everything. When the sea is so rough, it's hard to distinguish between waves and a possible target. Sometimes there are chases, and it's not easy to stay calm and keep your cool. It can get a bit dicey, though, too. But safety always comes first. In other words, staying alive is more important than catching the smugglers. Police officers estimate that up to 10 speedboats bring drugs ashore here every night. Two to three times a week, they can track down and convict smugglers. Filmed here by the Spanish Civil Guard. The authorities also often make large cocaine fines in the port of Algeciras. In early 2022, two tons of cocaine were found in a container declared as frozen pike. Authorities are primarily concerned with tracking down the people behind it. Here, police are preparing for a raid. They allow us to accompany the dangerous operation. Today, we start an operation to tackle money laundering. We will carry out six raids simultaneously in the provinces of Cádiz and Málaga. Here we go. We start with the colleagues who storm the buildings, the special unit. This is an area with youth unemployment higher than 80%. The average wage is 1,050. See, these are the type of officers that be really, really out here doing stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because cause they go raid these buildings, they going to get shot at. It's going to be a shootout. Both sides are shooting. They really risking something. Euros a month. Not saying that other officers In just one day, smugglers so. can earn several thousand euros. And so, more and more young people are getting involved in the illegal drug business. We never know who we'll find behind the door. The danger is always in the unknown. Usually things turn out well, but there have been cases where we've run into dangerous situations, some even involving gunfire. Regular raids are intended to dismantle the criminal structures. There are several raids, like this one, at least two days a week. The moments just before the raid are the most dangerous. We stay back. The operation goes smoothly. The suspect is arrested without resistance. The next step is to search the place. Boy, living in a, what is this? this is a compound he living in. This is crazy crib. We've recovered money, more than 6,000 euros. We also found a large hole of five, six meters. But that was empty. It was under a cabinet, so it was very likely intended as a hiding place. For the trial, we document everything important so that there is clear evidence. So the fact is that this is about smuggling with cocaine and money laundering, which is to say, drug trafficking. It's a huge effort by the Coast Guard and the police. 
And yet, La Línea remains a gateway to Europe for hashish and cocaine. Nowhere in Europe are more narcotics seized than in Spain, with its thousands of kilometers of maritime coast bordering the Mediterranean and Atlantic. Nearly 50 tons of cocaine were seized by Spanish authorities in Spain in 2020 alone. Yet that's just a... I don't feel impressed by those numbers. 50 in 365 days? You know how much got through then? If they will, 50 is light and it's the whole world is still supplied. Y'all caught 50, but the whole world is still supplied. Yeah, come on. Drop in the ocean. Deal. In 2020 alone. Yet that's just a drop in the ocean. Exactly. Tío, ese negocio de, de cocaína es que lleva al mundo. The cocaine business is running the world by anything, by the government. You buy what you need to buy and the people you need to buy to make your business run well. And because it's so much money, people get involved. Some of the expensive neighborhoods in La Línea didn't exist until a few years ago. Where their residents' money comes from is an open secret. The port of Rotterdam, the largest deep water port in Europe. Millions of containers are handled here every year, and it's impossible to check each one for contraband. Nevertheless, large quantities of cocaine are being intercepted here with increasing frequency. We meet customs officers in their daily work. For security reasons, we're not revealing their names. They're on their way to monitor the containers, Using a brand new procedure, the number of containers checked here has increased tenfold. What's the the individual containers are no longer opened as before. Instead, an air sample is taken and secured. Later, dogs can efficiently check the samples without having to be led to each container. What you this technique sit is it costs me three minutes per Okay. You don't think the cartel or whoever needs to be is watching these two? Just like us and then relaying the information like look, they doing this now. Look, 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 look. Let's vacuum seal the whole thing. They ain't even open it. They just pull it in. Oh good, no. Container. We only need three minutes per container to extract the air. Normally, it takes much longer. So now we can check many more containers. It even works on board a ship. We can get air out of each container there too. Then we take it to the control station where the dog can work in peace. Oh, I was muted. He said, just fill it, fill it with ozone. And that's what I'm saying. Like, they'll figure out a way to beat that system. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're going to figure out a way. They're you can imagine that if like the dog over. has to do it here between the containers and the noise, it's more difficult. The odors settle in the cotton balls. The dogs can then recognize these smells depending on what kind of sniffer dog you use and what he is trained to do. At the customs station, the air samples are opened for the dog. This allows the dog to check six container samples at once in the shortest possible time. It's a game changer for international customs authorities. The dog signals that he seems to have smelled a narcotic. The suspicious container is therefore now also x-rayed with a mobile x-ray system. The hunden were semi-positive, but we have to have an extra... The dog's check was positive, meaning we need confirmation, so it goes to the mobile scan. But here it turned out that the container is negative after all. 
so the journey can continue now. Night is the most dangerous time at the port. The customs officers don't take a break. Hello, everyone. Um, as you know, several suspicious ships arrived in our sector today. We are expecting people to return to pick up drugs from the port. This is the zone we are in. We are talking about one of the larger container companies. It is likely that they will try to leave the port through specific routes. So let's keep our eyes open and see if we can spot anyone. Camera surveillance is online, people are standing by. Basically, we're good to go. Are there any questions? 100% they're not going to catch nobody. Which I want to bet on it. If they if they don't catch nobody in this little sting they got going on, you got to hit the like button. If they do, you know what I'm saying? Is there any more info? Now, we know that the three ships are going to go up the three ships have a very high priority. We have found something there more often than not. That's the info we have to work with. That's all we have. Oh, then. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Every shipment that brings cocaine into the port attracts smugglers who come to pick up the goods. Tens of thousands of euros are said to be paid for such an operation. The customs officers try to track them down day and night. Now we go to Maasvlakte. That's where all big container ships and terminals are. An important place for inspections. We'll relieve the night shift. The first thing we do is patrol the relevant areas. We look to see if there are any irregularities in which people are there. Of course, we're available for the control center and keep our eyes and ears open. Today it's quiet. The customs officers use the time for an exercise. They're rehearsing an arrest. It's important to always be prepared. Six four X nine hundred Delta Wave, Dardanella Road, Direction Malaga Road, Stop Sign. The customs officers get out to inspect the vehicle. Did you bring your driver's license? You can take it with you. That way. Good afternoon. Stand so, I knew they wouldn't go catch nobody. They are so bored, they're doing an exercise. And here. What are you doing here at this hour? I was working. Driving. Working? Busy? Yeah, yeah, a lot of work. Show your hands. Show your hands. Spread your arms. You are under arrest in accordance with narcotics law. This is Turn fake, around. Right? Yeah, this is fake. It's on your knees. Colleagues, arrest for narcotics near Malaga Street. Keep the arms spread. Not everything always goes this smoothly. Yeah. The customs officers seize the cocaine in the trunk before passing it on to the authorities. In our laboratories, a sample is tested to determine whether it really is cocaine. I'm not allowed to say how often this happens, but I can say that we've already seized 50,000 kilos this year. The search for drugs is like finding a needle in a haystack. In Europe's largest deep water port, it's nearly impossible to find everything despite the most modern methods. They are bored. It will always be a cat and mouse game. 
We find drugs, then we take someone out of circulation, but then other players find new ways to smuggle the drugs into the country again. Exactly. And that's how it will always go on. Exactly. I'm glad what is know. changing is the spiral into violence. We are tracking down more and more narcotics, and this is also intensifying the resistance. The fight is getting more and more brutal as power, along with billions of euros in profits, are at stake. Every year, people are killed in the Netherlands. In summer 2021, a journal... Oh, that's crazy. Hold on. It was it. They always have insiders. I wonder how much they taxed. They taxed it. I sent to a guy in Spain and he got the delivery but customs put a tax on it. <laughs> They're gonna get that cut. Journalist became a victim of the drug mafia. One of the country's best-known journalists has been gunned down in broad daylight in Amsterdam. Peter R. de Vries is fighting for his life. The 64-year-old is considered an expert in the field of organized crime. At the moment, we know he's fighting for his life. Crime reporter de Vries dies on the sidelines of a murder trial against billionaire drug traffickers. He was a media advisor to a key witness. The murder shows that the cartels in the Netherlands will stop at nothing. Yeah. The battle... Yeah, y'all should know that already, though. There's way too much money to be got and, and not got on the line when this type of stuff is going on. So anybody is at risk, any and everybody is at risk. ...for supremacy on the cocaine market does not stop at borders. All right, Peter. The drug war seems to have arrived in Europe. Robin Hoffman is a criminologist and researches cocaine trafficking at Maastricht University. He's shocked by the developments right on his doorstep. I think the Netherlands is the best example at the moment where you see how a drug conflict can escalate, how a drug conflict can become unbelievably brutal. Netherlands be crazy, New Zealand. It's kind of wild and loot too. You see how such a conflict is carried out on the open street. Here in the Netherlands, you have about 20 to 30 assassinations per year on the open street, often with automatic weapons. Bystanders are also hit sometimes. You have to see in Germany too that there is the danger that a similar open conflict will arise at some point. That has not yet taken place, such brutalization, but it cannot be ruled out that this will be the case sometime. Germany is also increasingly affected by a seemingly relentless desire for cocaine. Kirsten kappert gonter is the health policy spokesperson for the Green Party in Germany. She sees the fight against cocaine imports as having failed. We have the situation that this big cocaine swarm at the moment... We have a situation in which this huge flood of cocaine is no longer possible to control through checks. The security authorities, the police, the judiciary are always behind the curve. Possible to control through check. This huge flood of cocaine is no longer possible to control through checks. The security authorities, the police, the judiciary are always behind the curve. What I tell y'all earlier, they not that smart. <laughs> they are not that smart. Even she just said it, said it herself. Like, come on now. Everybody's behind the curve. They're not keeping up with them. <laughs> now go back to what I said, man. Anything seized is a gift. Here, take this 50, 50 or 16 tons, but we're going to get through 200 tons. <laughs> that you're not gonna know about. But we're gonna give this to y'all so y'all seem like y'all done doing something, y'all feel good. Organized crime is extremely resourceful in finding new trafficking routes, but controls have basically failed. So this is an older German woman, huh? 
I tell her, hey, listen. Salute to her. <laughs> Wonderful. I think the development in recent years with the increasing numbers of cocaine confiscations is very dangerous. I think the best example is the Netherlands, where we see what such an open conflict can look like in the area of drug-related crime. And it has to be said, that's all based on cocaine. There is a lot of talk about cannabis, but ultimately cocaine has led to this brutalization because the profits are correspondingly large. Critics say the state needs to crack... Trapping marijuana is like minimum wage, man. Once you move up to booger sugar, it's like you made the NBA or something. The Premier League paychecks. Down harder. But commercial drug trafficking already carries a penalty of up to 15 years in prison. However, with profit margins of more than 100%, that clearly doesn't scare dealers like Jonas and Max. So if we're caught now, we wouldn't say a word and would wait until our lawyer arrived. He would take care of everything. Even if they can initiate any kind of proceedings, it rarely comes to a conviction because it is then negotiated down to personal use. We have good lawyers. Why should my life be worth less than some student? Just because... That's what I'm saying. If you in the streets are doing this type of stuff, invest in a lawyer, man, because that's your best investment that you're going to ever make. As he was encouraged in the past and brought up by his parents. Yeah, okay. I didn't have that. For me, there was no push to go to school. I was an outsider in school. Why should I earn less than society's most accomplished, though? Oh, no, no, no. It is Appreciate the file, Ralph. It's precisely these high earners who need the drugs, who need some dirt, who need... They need something. In the end, they come to people like me because of it. Just because they were born in a better part of society, social class, why should I settle for less? I didn't choose where I was born. Without the lower class, nothing works for the top. We are the foundation. Hey. Cocaine is booming. Business is booming. Demand is high. Cocaine is becoming the people's drug. And it still has a good image, despite all the media reports about it drug really cartels, the people's. <laughs> That's crazy. and mafia violence. How they worded it is wild, but it's true. Addicts like Marie know what a lie this is, as it's not always possible to get out. And when you fall, you fall a long way. Von der Droge loszukommen. Getting off the drug, that's more than just a struggle. That's like a war, because it's just everywhere. And that was so hard, I hope I never forget that, so that it never happens to me again. Marie has been clean for a year now. She wants her story to serve as a warning against the seduction and dangers of the drug, which seems to flood Germany ever more unchecked good for her man good for her man let's talk about it in the comments anybody from germany here let me know man tell leave a like comment subscribe turn on your post i'm gone